Johnny, look at this oh. guy. Johnny, you didn't want to answer that. Yeah. There it is. All right, we're at the Panini House in Las Vegas. We're with one of the greatest golfers in the world. We got John Ron with us. Some exciting news. Panini Live Tour have combined. You're going to get a playing card. Are you fired up about having a card? I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I grew up collecting them and doing, uh, trying to sell out the whole La Liga, uh, you know, that, that notebook. Yeah. And uh, I haven't done it since, but it's a, it's a very good childhood memory I have. And to, to know that I'm going to have my own card is, is quite special. I mean, Sean cool. doesn't even have a card of him, and he played football for 12 years. And like, you're going to get one? That's amazing. You're actually you're in the background of a few of my cards. My, my butt's in all your cards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing who knows what with your hands. But yeah, it took me a few years to get something. Yeah. Your card, do you want it to be like before you swing after your swing like the fall yeah, like what do you want you want a putting like what club do you want to have in your hand in your car i would like to see some type of action shot i like yeah try to make golf as dynamic as possible what's your celebration like would you have like a i have no idea <laughs> it's, it, do you guys do you practice it no do you practice no no it's whatever happens right, right. so if, yeah i wouldn't say i have one have you ever like, got the putter and started like riding the horse or anything yes. I don't yes. think, you know. no no that's uh i don't think i'm nearly country enough to be able to do that <laughs> Obviously, with with the Live Tour, there's a couple things that are different than the the PGA, and and I think one is the shorts. I mean, you got great legs. You like you like rocking the shorts when you're playing golf, dude. Yeah, you haven't seen me play in, in yeah <laughs> the knee down. I, I didn't get the genetics for great legs. Uh, it's comfortable when I'm home. I play in shorts. It was pretty funny last week. Like what I just alluded to, I, I walked by and you know with pants you can't tell. You can't see really what's going on and. The amount of times I wear shorts and I just hear, man, I thought you had bigger legs. Well, I'm... <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. Like, I don't work out my legs. It's just, it's, just, it's just not there. You have walkout music. You do? Right? You have Bad Bunny? Is that? Uh... I did, yeah. It, it was uh... funny. Like, I, you only get your song when you have on the first tee or what they call the party hall. And I don't know. They, they just asked me two hours before my tee. I'm like, well, I guess whatever song comes to mind. It was Bat Muddy's uh, Monaco, but I'm definitely going to change it. I'm not going to say the song, but it's a cool Swindell song. So uh, I'm hoping that the crowd enjoys that one. You would probably go with the uh, Um Bop by Hanson. Uh, they, that would be your walkout. Well, what would yours be? Uh, I'd be I'm Too Sexy by Right Said Fred. I think would be mine. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I even believe that one. The whole right. thing is to psych up the crowd and get them fired no, up. It's not, it's not, yeah, get yeah. yourself. I'm, I, that's how I, you know, it's it's self-confidence. Yeah. So I get some confidence in myself. John, you've had, you've had a great run. You were the number one amateur years ago, number one ranked player and professional. You're or basically the master of your domain. You're the 2023 Masters champion. I mean, what was that feeling putting on that green jacket? Hard to explain. <laughs> it's all the things you would think you feel like for anybody watching and more. You just can't, it's hard to put it into words, really. Walking up 18 on that final hole, like that must be just an unbelievable feeling. Now that is the greatest feeling. When you're walking down 18, knowing you've won the major, yeah. is the greatest walking golf. I never thought I would cry when in a tournament, and walking up, I came very close. My caddy was crying, so I'm trying to hold it in together because I have a three-foot putt to, to still, you know, to finish with the par. But the ovation you get from the crowd at Augusta is quite special. And was that different than winning the U.S. Open? I mean, a few years before, you were the first Spanish golfer to win the U.S. Open. That had to be special, but the Masters, like, in a whole, a whole nother. I always thought the U.S. Open would be by far number one but Augusta because and this is a little bit for people that know about golf right I mean you have the three greatest Spaniards to play all had won the Masters right the latest one being Sergio it was on Seve's birthday Easter Sunday and being Spain's 10th major and me joining the the two major club for Spain and joining that club of, of winning it I didn't think it would mean as much as it did but when it finished I was like man this is leaps and bounds ahead of what the US Open was nothing to do with the tournament it's just the connection to the history and, and, and the history of golf is yet. And now, because, you know, returning champ, you yeah. get the pig, the, the dinner, part. right? You got the dinner coming up. What's uh, what's on the menu? I got a few suggestions. I, I'm not allowed to say them. Oh, no. They they like to keep things private. So what's the, I don't even know how to say that. I can't read that. Okay, so those are the two things. Milojas 
We'll translate as thousand leaves. Like, okay. To hell us? Oh, look at that. What does this look? Is this look? Where'd you get that? <laughs> is this look? What, is, what do we have here? So, Miloha is just like a, I don't even know. It's like a pastry. This is the Loha? Pastry, yeah. It's like, it's it's just very thin layers with custard. Do they always have teas in them? Or is that mm. special for you? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think they're going to have teas in them. Well played. <laughs> Why'd you get just the dirtier? How what? We're, yeah. Well, no, because it's only made in northern Spain. Like oh. th this particular one, I think, is only very few places outside the city I grew up in. So, come on, don't like. No. It's a... no. Let me know. Okay, I'll, I have to at least make it official. Yeah, there we go. Get, what's this? Uh, get your soul. Get your soul. Eat. That's the hammer. Like just done. It looks like like. Oh, don't finish that sentence. <laughs> don't say it looks like it's like prosciutto. It, it looks like the same kind of uh, texture. Oh, but this has caramel on it. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. Now we're getting to my favorite part of this episode. We're hitting the golf simulator. John, what do you think of his setup? Setup looks very great. athletic, very good so far. Shawnee, this for you, baby. Oh no! <laughs> four, yeah. four of us. And you're, you're, in, you're in the Pacific Ocean. Ouch. I think Eli just killed two people. <laughs> Johnny, look at this oh, guy. Oh, baby. Is this a fairway finder? Put it in play. Get left, get left. Is yeah, that yeah. a fair? No, Give me my perfect. fur. That's the first cut, that's perfect. Eli's gonna try again. This, luckily nobody got it, actually. That's a beat. There it is. There, there you go. go. Hey, Sean, if you don't he win is. this hole, I'm just gonna <laughs> see you. I'll be honest. You can't fix him right now? <laughs> Who taught you how to play golf? My dad. My dad started playing later in life. Nobody in my family had ever played golf, ever. They would say the story is, they would pick me out from school, they go get the, their golf lesson, and my mom told me basically, sometimes I'll fall asleep, sometimes I'll eat a snack, sometimes I'll pay attention, some other times I wouldn't, and I think around seven or eight, I said, hey, let me, let me try, and that was it. Did it just make sense? So you could just, no, I did. think everybody's absolutely terrible. <laughs> I don't think golf was my priority. I feel like Eli wants me to hit one because if he goes left, it like it validates his day. <laughs> It got through. Oh, we're fine. Oh, there you go. Yeah. We're there fine. I think it put it a did, hole in the screen. It did fade. Now it's a power. It did right fade there. a little bit, so I'm happy. Yeah, that was Who's, great. Your ideal foursome, dead or alive? Right. Sevi, Ben Hogan, and Jack. We'll be so, thankful I've never had the chance to play with it. That'd be good. So, Sevi, Ben Hogan, two of the pioneers of the game. Very opposite in how they approached it, and obviously Jack being uh, the most amount of majors ever won. So. Yeah. yeah. We got one more game we get to play. It's called Sink It or Say It. I'm gonna ask you a question and then you're gonna putt. If you make the putt, you do not have to answer the question. If you miss it, you have to answer it. So it'll be kind of tough questions. You ready? You understand the rules? I'm probably gonna, I'm gonna try to answer. Okay. Even if I make it. All right, the first question is, who has the best looking legs on tour? I, I think, know you're staring at these guys' legs all the day. I think we've established I don't, so. <laughs> oh, God. oh, look at that thing. Whoa. Oh, 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 break on this thing. Do a good read. Oh, I think he wanted to yeah. that. Yep. No, no, that was, yeah, I was trying to make it. That's a problem, too. <laughs> the best looking legs. Best calves is Phil. Best calves are Phil. I want the full legs. Yeah, I can't tell you. <laughs> look, I, I don't get to see the, the Does Phil version. shave his legs? Dude, I'm not looking that close. Oh. <laughs> Next question. Which celebrity golfer has been the worst golfer that you've ever played with? I think it's a little left or right. I almost want to make it because I'll have yeah. to think about this long. Cup and a half left. Oh, oh I like it. Looks good. Get it. Oh. Oh. It's like picks up some like yeah. pro-am. You playing some pro-ams with some bad golfers? God, I love them to death, but celebrity yes. status. His golf game's not there. Yeah, it has to be JJ Watt. JJ Watt. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I love the guy. Is it a violent thing. swing? But I tell him all the time he's too strong. Like you, yeah. you can't be that strong and that big and, and play golf. Like, we can ask more questions. Still, still free. Who wears the tightest pants on mm. on the tour? Mm. You're you're all about the uh, look. You didn't, want, you didn't want to answer that. Oh, there it is. Uh, What's the celebration? Cool. All right, John. We asked about the Masters. You said you're not traveling around with your green jacket, mm -hmm. which I think is a mistake, but we had a feeling that might be the case. So we had made you a blue jacket. And yeah, look at this thing. 
Look at this. All right, oh. you can try it. Oh, we can oh, all try it on here. Yeah. Everybody gets one. But look at that. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I know. Oh, was fancy. You were a fifth of giant. I feel like I got to put oh, yeah, it on the master. I'll come on. Yeah, I'll get so. Okay. Now this is what you're talking about. Move down. Look at the collar. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Congratulations. Congratulations. You're an official Giants fan. Okay. Philly, this puts me in the Hall of Fame weirdly. Yeah. yeah. Part of it. You're part of the Giants Hall of Fame. I'm keeping it. Yeah, wearing this tonight. Yeah. You're wearing this at your next live event. Here you go. Okay. Hey, if, if I could play with this on OV. If you wear this tomorrow to live with this. Hey, Giants fans. Eli Manning here. Want to see more videos? Subscribe now to the Giants YouTube channel.